For Ban in a Box 2021, the new build 804 now introduces the ability to generate real tracks right onto the utility tracks. In previous builds, you could get real tracks onto utility tracks by copying them from one of the main original Ban in a Box tracks, but now you can generate them directly to a utility track. And you can either generate the entire track, or you can generate or regenerate small regions of the track. I have a style loaded which has one of our new Mallets real drum styles, and I'd like to add a new Brent Mason soloist to a utility track. I'll bring up a utility track. And if I click on the track, I now get this menu, Generate, Select and Generate Real Tracks. I'm going to filter so it only shows soloists. I'll also filter by Brent Mason. And I have a new soloist in mind that's got a cool phaser effect. So that's generated now, and we can view the audio and the silent MIDI, which will be displayed on the guitar fretboard. So it generated the whole track on this utility track. And if you generate like that from the mixer, you get the whole track. There's also a new Generate Menu item in the Edit menu of the Audio Edit window, which lets you pick the same reel track or a different reel track. Now if you're in the Audio Edit window and you generate from here, if you have no region selected or the entire track selected, you'll also get the entire thing generated or regenerated. But if you select just a region from within the audio edit window, and now we'll go back to that menu and regenerate the same real track. It's regenerated just that region. Now the whole audio track went blank for a moment while it regenerated this part, but everything except this region is the same as it was before, but this region is regenerated. I'll try regenerating another region. And you'll also notice that all the parts I've been regenerating also are still showing up correctly on the guitar fretboard, which means the MIDI is being regenerated as well. For this little part here, I'm actually going to try something a little different. I'm going to just regenerate this a whole bunch of times in a row without even listening to any of them. Then I can use Control Z to undo, and I can listen to them all back to back and pick the one I like. And of course, Control Z is undo, but Control Shift Z is redo, so I can scroll through them all. So here's the first one. I'll control Z to go back one. And I'll control Z to go back another one. And control Z to go back another one. And actually, out of all of those, it was the first one I liked the best, so I'll just control shift z several times until I get back to that one. And this is the one I'm going to pick. So 
So one thing I wanted to mention as well is that when these regions are regenerated, there is a small crossfade between the old audio and the new. If that wasn't the case, you could get little clicks and pops at the join points between the old audio and the new. The amount that it crossfades is available in the settings. The default is a good amount in general for crossfades. But here is an example of the kind of thing you would get if that crossfade wasn't on at all, where there's a clear break in the waveform, and those are the kind of instances where you hear clicks or pops. Now, in that menu, as we saw, you can also generate other real tracks on the same track. And I'd also like to show you what happens when you have a mono track, and then you pick a stereo real track, like a piano. The original mono track is converted to stereo, and converting mono to stereo is pretty much a non-destructive edit. But now the stereo piano can be added to it. And the track will now just be a stereo track. 